Hi guys and ladies, I found a fish recipe online that gets five stars. It has an Italian influence and that's enough to convince me to try it. So I picked up all the ingredients, uh, 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 except one and you know what I mean, it's the fish. Let's go try to catch some. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Here's a rocket bobber. I'd like to use it today as a slip bobber so I can fish deeper. On the business end is this, look, a 1 32nd ounce jig with a mealworm attached. Well, look in the notes below for info on my equipment, the fish, the lake, everything. Let's see if we could catch some yummy bluegill now. Well, that was a bass anyway, and we're after bluegill, and at least it proved that the slip bobber worked. Wow, yes, that's a good one. Wow, that's a nice one. You know, the bobber casts farther than I need to go, and look at the fish, oh, nice. So this method works. I don't believe it. It's almost nine and a half inches. Wow. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, not so big. I think it's big enough to eat though. Seven and a half inches. Perfect for eating. Kind of small, but let's measure them. Huh. It's more than seven and a half. Good. Let's keep them. <laughs> Again, it's no giant, but it's edible. It's filetable. Filetable. Seven and a half inches. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. Over eight inches, perfect. Come on, Bobber, go down. Went down enough. <sighs> Nothing beautiful about this fish, but it's it's big enough to eat and fillet. Eight inches. Wow, that was a mile away, that cast. Oh, that's a great fish. Color, now see, that's colorful. Over eight inches. I hit the tree. I can't believe I hit the tree. Whoa, this is another big one. Where is he? Whoa, that's another nice one. Wow, eight and a half, eight and a half inches. I gotta say, I like this rocket bobber. It never tangled. The bait always went down. It slipped right through the way it's supposed to. That's why they call it a slip bobber. 
works great. Sometimes it casts a little too far and then you get into tangles and things. But overall, I like it a lot. Looky here, I've got eight nice bluegill. That's gonna give us over a pound of fish fillets. Let's get in the house and fillet them. That's pretty good for a day like today when the temperature was 90 degrees. Yesterday, despite the heat, we did some serious bobbing for bluegill. And looky here, we've got over a pound and a quarter of these really nice fillets. And I'm eager to start our five-star recipe, which is red pepper parmesan bluegill. But first, let's do another Italian-like side dish. I've got a pound of these Campari tomatoes. They're like big grape tomatoes. I'm cutting them pole to pole in half. Here I've got a pizza pan, and look, I'm going to put parchment over it. All I'm doing now is putting our tomatoes on it. Got that, got that. Okay, here's about a half cup of pecorino romano. Of course, you could use parmesan from the jar. Here's one heaping teaspoon of chopped garlic, minced garlic from the jar. Here's about a half cup, maybe more, of freshly chopped parsley, Italian flat-leafed parsley. Let's mix everything. This isn't in the recipe, but let's add, oh, I don't know, about a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just spooning on our Parmesan mixture over each tomato half. I'm going to set these aside now. Eventually, they're going to be going under the broiler. I'm going to preheat our oven to 425. In this bowl goes a large egg. Now, I'm going to add a cup and a half of cream. Now I'm going to drown our fish fillets. I'll put this in the fridge for just a bit. Here I've got a cup and a half of pecorino romano. You could get by with a cup of regular parmesan. Into our grated cheese I'm adding two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper ground up, and a whole teaspoon of red pepper, red pepper flakes. Let's mix it up well. Let's see if this works. Here's our soaking fillets, our bluegill fillets. Let's drain them. Okay, let's see if we could get them into this bag with our mixture of pecorino romano. Seal it up. I hope this works. This is not in the recipe. I'm just laying them on a greased rack. I just managed to squeeze the fillets onto this rack. Now, let me put this in the oven for 10 minutes. Let's see how that works. It's been 10 minutes. <sighs> Looks pretty good. It smells wonderful. I'm just going to set these aside and let's get on with that side dish. Now, all I'm doing is putting our broiler on our Parmesan roasted cherry tomatoes. Well, they're not roasted yet, but here they go under the broiler. Five minutes while our tomatoes are roasting away in the oven. I should let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. Yeah, you, you probably know that despite many decades of seeing each other, she doesn't seem very interested in marriage and I wonder if I can fire up the courtship by suggesting a little romantic trip, you know, a getaway. Five minutes. I think our parchment paper is on fire. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> They're toasty, all right. I think they'll be fine. They're a little black. <laughs> oh, but they, they do look good, too, though. Sort of. We'll see. I might put this under the broiler for a couple minutes too. My fish. Oh, hmm. Parmesan. It's like a lemony taste, a, a sweetness that comes out. I didn't use lemon. It's so good. I, I think I could top it off for a minute under the broiler. I'm getting the fish out. Ha <laughs> ha. The second time is the charm. The, the broiler really works wonders. Look, I've got one of our roasted tomatoes. 
Mmm, so juicy, so sweet. Again, the Parmesan is noticeable. It's different, it's wonderful. I like it. And now back to our fish. This fish, I've been eating it, it's perfect. Mmm, mmm. You get a little heat from the two peppers and the Parmesan comes through. And you know, lake fish from like bluegill and perch have a sweetness that's hard to describe. It's just naturally in the flesh of the fish. It is really, really good. Oh, I love the recipe. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me here at my pretty cheap prefab. And uh, you had a chance to dine on my Parmesan roasted tomatoes. What did you think of those? They were very good. They were sweet. They yeah. were delicious. And of course, yeah. of course I love cheese. As they looked know. a little burnt, but they really oh, were tasty. They really didn't. No, I thought they oh, were great. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. And then you had the red pepper Parmesan bluegill. What did you think? It was very nice. Now, you warned me it was going to be too hot, but I didn't think so at all. It's it was a little just, spicy. It had a little bite, but it was just right. Oh, great, great, yes. great. Uh, you know, uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I may call you uh, Lulu now. Yes. Okay. Uh, I've been thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if you and I took a nice romantic vacation? Hmm, yes. We should go someplace where we can each be alone. Huh? Oh. Uh, can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.